if you want to level up your video streams from looking something like this, which is the Logitech C920 and the Logitech C920 mic that's actually built into the camera, if you want to go from this to, to this, this, then stick around because this, I feel, is one of the ultimate webcams that's out there. This is the Sony ZV-E10 using the USB streaming function. This is all on board. The autofocus works. See? Autofocus is working. And the onboard mic. All of this looks and sounds really, really good, which will take your streams to the next level. Stick around for this setup. It's really easy, and I promise you, in a couple of seconds, you will be up and running, but there's one tiny little issue with the Sony ZV-E10 as a streaming webcam, and it's a pain point, but I've got a really, really easy fix for it. Let's get into it. Step number one is here. See that USB-C port? Get yourself a USB-C cable and plug it in. There's actually one came with the camera, I would think, in most countries. That's more or less it. Plug that into your computer and you're almost good to go. Now, the next step, and this is where the problem starts, but I'm going to show you a fix for this. And we'll also get into the setup in OBS and Zoom and all of that, because honestly, this is really easy. To get the USB streaming mode functional, what you got to do is press menu. Jump in there and press the FN button and jump across to Movie 1. Now, once you're in Movie 1, you're going to see USB streaming. Hit that and then connect the USB-C cable. Now, I know what some of you are saying. You're like, Vic, that's cool and all and the video looks amazing, but I'm going to have to go into the menu each time to do this? Yeah, and if you've got your camera set up, it can be a pain in the butt. So here's what I'm suggesting that you do. And this will predominantly work if you're using the Sony ZV-E10 as your main webcam. So, we're going to customize a button. I know, like, oh no, I'll never customize anything. It's cool. It's easy to do. Again, be in the movie menu, and we're on page one and nine. What you got to do is jump across to page eight of nine. Select the video option here on the custom key. And then on one of the buttons, okay? One of the buttons, whether it's on the rear or the top, select one of those. So what I'm going to do here is select this one, which is kind of predefined to the blurry background. And I'm just going to scroll across and place the USB streaming. In this case, for me, it's on 10 of 19. And then no more cycling through menus. If I want to jump into USB streaming mode, all I got to do is press this and we're into USB streaming mode. Now you can put that button wherever you want. But for me, I think this is a handy one up here on that custom one, or maybe you could put it on the record button. Depends on what you're doing. Is this going to be primarily your Sony ZV-10 camera for everything, or is it just going to be your webcam? Now, speaking of it being a webcam, you've heard the video, you've seen the audio. You've heard the video, you've seen the, the uh, you know what I'm saying. To set this up in OBS, it's really, really easy, but you're not going to get audio straight away. So let's show you guys how to set it up in OBS. It's super quick, by the way, it's really easy. And the setup is going to be more or less the same in whatever software that you use. But we'll also jump into Zoom because I know lots of you use Zoom on a regular basis, including myself. So let's get into the setup in OBS. We've got scene one. You're always going to have scene one in OBS. So I'm going to select the plus symbol here and we got to get a video capture device in here, which surprise, surprise is going to be the Sony ZV-E10. So I'm going to call this Sony ZV-E10. Call it what you want. I'm going to press OK. And then here on the drop down where it says device, let's select ZV-E10. Let's select OK. And then let's drag this out like that as I try to do it without looking at the screen. So I'm looking at you, hi. You can't hear anything just yet, which is pain in the butt. So what you need to do, and the easiest way to do this is go to our plus symbol, select audio input capture, call this Sony ZV-E10 mic, select OK. And then on the drop down here for device, so let's select Sony ZV-E10. Select OK. And now we're using the onboard mic in the Sony ZV-E10. And here's the thing. If you plug in an external mic into the Sony ZV-E10, it's going to use that automatically. Right now, I'm just using the Ceramonic XRXM1 with the cheap $30 mic. So let's do one last thing here before we leave OBS. One last thing. This might be of interest to you. It might not. But I'm talking about using a cinematic looking lot on your actual footage within OBS, which will really make it stand out. So, right click on our Sony ZV-E10 video source here, select filters. So let's add an actual filter. So I'm gonna select the plus symbol here, 
I'm going to go apply LUT. I'm going to call this OBS cinematic LUT. Select OK, then find where it is, select close. And that's it. So you can see now things are a little bit more orange and teal looking, which really helps separate you from all the other streamers. I've left a link in the description for this lot. If you pick it up, you are supporting me and the channel directly. Now, that's OBS. But let's quickly jump into something like Zoom, which a lot of folks are using and see is the setup more or less as easy. I think it's going to be. So let's find out. Now that we're in Zoom, let's go down here and let's select Sony ZV E10 as our webcam. Boom. It just, it just works. On the audio, let's just go and see microphone Sony ZV-E10. How easy is that? And now we're rocking on Zoom. Can you imagine being on a Zoom call and it looks as good as that on the Sony ZV-E10? Man, people are be like, how much money did he spend on a webcam? Now I gotta up my game and you can tell him exactly. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just before we go, would you guys do me a favor really, really quickly? If you found this video useful, there is a subscribe button here. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and until then, don't stop fighting for yourself.